Okay, so um, what we've seen now that we're starting, starting to fit trend lines to time series data is one of the problems is time series data sometimes has quite significant fluctuations and it has significant fluctuations for good reason because there's often seasonal um, patterns or cyclical patterns that are happening. But what that means is that sometimes if those fluctuations are quite extreme, um, the line of best fit actually doesn't fit the data very well at all. It's sort of giving an average of quite different things and so therefore it's actually not going through any of the data points, it's just going sort of through the middle of them. Um, and so what we want to look at over um, the rest of this chapter really is different ways that we can smooth out the data, that we can reduce the fluctuation in the data so that either we can better identify trends which might be hard to see with the graph jumping up and down a lot or so that we can better fit a trend line to better make predictions okay we'll, we'll look at the latter in a bit later on in the chapter when we look at um, dealing with seasonality and smoothing our time plot um, by removing the seasonal patterns um, but what, what we want to look at here is smoothing our time series plot by either using medians, which we'll look at in this video, or using means, which we'll look at in the next two videos. Um, and sometimes what that allows us to do is to see a trend in the smoothed plot, which might not have been as obvious in the um, non-smoothed plot. Okay, so the first smoothing strategy we're going to look at is median smoothing, okay? Um, and we're going to do that um, as I said, looking at medians today, we'll look at means um, in the next couple of videos. So smoothing using medians is the much easier option than using means, okay? Um, and we can perform it directly on the graph and we don't need to do any calculation. So if we think about finding the median of the three points pictured in the plot, okay? So here I've got three points, okay? One, two, three. Each of those points has an X and a Y value. So remembering median is the middle value. So if we think about the x values, these three points correspond to these three x values. So the median x value is the middle of those three x values. So that's three, okay? So the x value of our median point will be three. If we then think about the median of the y values, let me get myself a different color here. Sorry, that's a really thick pen, isn't it? Let's go with a slightly thinner pen than that. Okay, so that point has a y value of 1, that point has a y value of 3, and that point has a y value of 4. So we're looking at these, sorry, I didn't mean to make them 11, 13, and 14, I was just trying to highlight them. So we're looking at these three y values, and so the median is the middle of those three y values when they're in order, and so that is 3, okay? So therefore, the median... Um, the median x value is 3, the median y value is 3, and so the median point of these three points is going to be there at 3, 3. Okay? Alright, so now we want to look at smoothing a plot using median smoothing. So we can do median smoothing easily as long as we have an, use an odd number of points. So if we do three point median smoothing, like we just did here, we smoothed, we, we calculated the median of three points. Okay? It requires we, that we smooth each point by using that point together with the point either side of that point. So hence three points in total to find a median smooth point. Okay? In three point median smoothing it's not possible to smooth the first or the last point because there isn't a point to the left or a point to the right. So we can't smooth this point when x equals 1 because we can't. there's no point over here to be smoothing it with. There's no third point over there. So the first point we're going to be smoothing is when x equals 2. Okay, And so that means we're going to consider this point when x equals 2 and the, the two points either side, one point either side, so three points in total. So we're going to be looking at those, finding the median of those three points. Now when you're looking at the median in a time series, obviously the median of the x values is going to be the middle x value. So that's going to be 2. All right, then we want to look at the y values, okay? The median y value here is whatever this, this point's y value is, somewhere between 28 and 30. So it looks like about 29. So therefore, the smooth point will be at 229, okay? So that's going to be it there. All right, let's have a think about our next three points. So then we want to find the smooth value for 3. So that means we're going to consider the point when x equals 3 and one point either side of that so that we have three points. 
the median x value of these three numbers is clearly 3, okay? And the median y value, we've got this value, we've got this value, and we've got this value. So the median y value is clearly this one at 33, okay? So um, we're looking at an x value of 3 and a y value of 33. Okay, so now we consider the next three points. So we consider, we're looking for the smooth um, value of four, okay? So we then look at the point at x equals four, and then the point at x equals three, and the point at x equals five, and we look at the median of that. So the middle x value is clearly gonna be four. In this case, the middle y value is clearly going to be 37, okay? So we're gonna go through 437, so it will go through that point is the median smooth point. Okay, and you should start to be able to do this by eye. Okay, so smoothing the fifth value, looking at the sixth and the seventh. Okay, well, obviously x equals five is the median x, sorry, not the sixth and seventh, the sixth and the fourth. The median x value is clearly five. Okay, the median y value, we've got that value, that value, and that value, it's going to be this one here. So again, it's going to go through that actual point on the graph. Okay, next three points. When x equals 6, we're looking at that point. We're looking at this point when x equals 5 and this point when x equals 7. Okay, again, the median height, the median y value is going to be this one here. Okay, that's a bigger y value and that's a smaller y value. Okay, so we're looking at the middle one, the median, which is going to be actually at that point, sort of about 41. So we're looking at there. Okay, so again, we look at the next three points. So seven being the middle and the two points either side of that. Okay, and we look for the middle Y value, which is gonna be this Y value is the middle Y value out of the three of them. So this, this smooth point will have an X value of seven, but a Y value at whatever that is, 39-ish, okay? And then we continue to repeat. So we look at the next three points, so seven, eight, and nine. The middle Y value there is that point at eight. This one here has the middle Y value, and so it's gonna actually go through that point. Looking at the next three points, we have nine, eight, nine, and 10, okay? Again, the middle Y value is that. The middle X value is nine. So when x equals 9, it's going to have that y value. Okay. Next three points, 9, 10, and 11. Middle x value is 10. So when x equals 10, what is y equal? The middle y values out of these three points is there. So it's going to go through that point. Okay. Next three points, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, middle X value is clearly 11. The middle Y value is again this one. Okay, you've got three Y values. Okay, this is the middle one of those. Um, and so we are again gonna be at that same height. Here. We look at the next three points, 11, 12, and 13. The middle y value is this, so when x equals 12, the median will be whatever that value is, 45 or so. And then the final three points, when x equals 12, 13, and 14, so median x value is 13, that's the median y value, that height there, and so it's going to also go through that point. So now remembering this is a time series plot, so once we have plotted the points, we then want to join them with a straight line. Use a ruler, okay. It's quite hard to draw straight lines on the slippery screen here and I haven't got a ruler, but um, use a ruler so you've got a nice, clear, um, smooth plot. So what we've seen is those fluctuations out here and down here, they've sort of been removed. We've got um, a smoother plot. It's perhaps a bit clearer to see that the overall overall trend is upward, okay? Where before, because it was sort of jumping up and down so much, it was possibly a bit hard to tell that there was an upward trend here. Whereas with the smooth plot, we can more clearly see that there's definitely an upward trend. 
Okay, so again, as long as we've got an odd number of points, we can um, find the median. So we could also smooth the plot using a five using five point median smoothing. So that would be just where we take the point that we want to smooth and two points either side of that for a total of five points, and then we work out what the median um, y value is. Okay, so this time we won't be able to smooth the first point in the plot because there aren't two points to the left of it to use. We also won't be able to smooth the second point because there's only one point to the left, so we can't get five points. Okay, we're missing one out here. So um, we can the first point we can smooth is the third point in the plot. Okay, so we're going to consider the third point. We're smoothing for that value and we're going to look at the two points either side of that. So we're now looking at 1 to 5. Okay. So again, the median x value is going to be the third point. That's always going to be true. When you're smoothing the fourth point, you're going to look at those four points, the median will be 4. When you're smoothing the fifth point, you're going to look at those five points, the median will be 5. Okay. So when we're smoothing the third point, the median x value is 3. So we're looking to mark a point somewhere on this line, x equals 3. Okay. We just need to work out what the y value of that point is, and that'll be where we have the, the middle y value. Okay, So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y values here. The middle one is clearly that at 33. Okay, So when x equals 3, y equals 33 will be our smooth point. Sorry, just let me make that thicker again so we can see it properly on the plot. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with there. Then we look at the next five points. Okay, so with four as the centre, two points to the left of four and two points to the right of four. Okay, we then want to know the median y value. So we have that, 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 and that. The middle one is the third one, which is there at 37. So it is actually going to be at that data point, the smoothed value. Okay, considering the next point when x equals 5, the two points to the left of that and the two points to the right of that. So we're looking at these five points. They have one, these five y values. Sorry, that's only four. I've missed that one. These five y values, the middle y value is clearly there at 37. So middle x value is 5, middle y value is 37. So we also go through that point. Next five points centered around t x equals six, so five and four and seven and eight. Okay. Again, your middle x value is clearly six. Your y values, you've got thirty-one, you've got thirty-seven, you've got thirty-nine, you've got forty-one, and you've got fifty-five. The middle of those is here at thirty-nine. Okay. So when x equals six, the median smoothed value. 5 point smooth value is 39. Okay, looking at our next um, point, so centering around 7, so looking at 8 and 9 and 5 and 6. Okay, again, our middle x value is clearly 7, our middle y value, so we've got a y value of 31, we've got a y value of 39, and we've got a y value of 41, we've got 51, oh, sorry, 53 and 55. Okay, so those are the five y values corresponding to the five points. Sorry, not that one, those five. Uh, and so the middle of those five y values is clearly at 41. Okay, so our median point is going to be at 741. Okay, so 8, again, so looking at point, the point when x equals 8, the two points before that and the two points after that, we're looking for the median y value, so we've got those points have five y values, 31 is the lowest one, 39 is the next lowest one, 47, 53 and 55, and so this time 47 is the median, and so when x equals 8, our median smooth value is 47. Alright, when x equals 9, looking at the point 9, two points after that, two points before that, okay, 
again the median y value you've got this one down here this one here this one here this one here and this one here okay this is clearly the median height out of all of those heights so we're going to have our point at that height when x equals 9. Okay, when x equals 10, that's our middle point. Two points either side of that. Um, in terms of heights, we've got this height down here, this height here, this height here, this height here, and this height here. So five different heights. The middle of those heights is up here. Okay, and so when x equals 10, that will be the height or the y value. So we actually go through that point. When x equals 11, that's our central point, two points after that and two points before that. Again, we've got one, two, three, four, five heights. The middle of those heights is again this same height here, okay, at about 47. All right, so when x equals 11, our median smooth height is going to be 47 again. And then we have one more point we can smooth. So when x equals 12, two points after that. So because there's no, many, no more points after this, we can't go any further in doing five-point smoothing. And the two points before that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five heights. That's going to be our middle height there. And so when x equals 12, we are looking at uh, a height equal to this point here. Okay, so we now have our plot and we can join it up with a straight line. We'll use a ruler. You've always got a ruler with you because you've always got your CAS and you can use the edge of the lid of your CAS. So no excuse for not doing straight lines. Okay, so the five point median smoothing is um, again revealing an upward trend in this data. Okay, so, sorry, example three. The time series block plot below shows the monthly average daily maximum temperature for one year where x equals one represents January. State the average daily maximum temperature in May. Okay, so that means if x equals one is January, x equals five is May, okay. And so the average daily maximum temperature in May is going to be there, sort of halfway between 20 and 22. So it's going to be 21 degrees Celsius. Determine the smoothed temperature in May using three-point median smoothing or five-point median smoothing. Okay, so we're focused on May. We want to do three-point median smoothing. So that means considering the May data point and one point either side of that. And we want to look at the median temperature for those three points. So we've got three temperatures, 20, 21 and 24. So the median temperature is 21. So the three point smoothed temperature is still 21 degrees Celsius. All right, then if we think about the five point smoothing, so again, that means thinking about um, x equals five and two points either side of that. So we have five points in total. All right, so then we want to think about our median temperature. So the temperature there is 20, that one's 21, that one's 22, that's 24, and that's 27. And so the median, the middle of those five numbers is that one there at 22. So the five point median smoothed value for May is 22 degrees Celsius. Okay, the work is exercise 5C. It's in your textbook, but I've included in Appendix E of your green booklet. It's just a printout of that exercise so that you can actually draw on the graphs to do the median smoothing without actually drawing in your textbook. Okay, so um, we're doing exercise 6C, all the questions in 6C, but you can do that on the worksheets that are provided for you in Appendix E so that you can draw on the graphs.